This video is sponsored by Green Chef. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Matt. Today we are doing a, uh, a little log pickup thing. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, so I'm excited to get out here and, oh man, do something once again. So here is the log that we're getting, and we're gonna try and get today. So this is a walnut log that was struck by lightning about 10 years ago or so, so it's not like in super duper great shape, but it's always really interesting to see how the trees react to that kind of stress and try to start growing back around here. So we do have some pretty good structural defects in here and some kind of crazy things going on with the sapwood out here. And you can see this kind of split that was all the way down the log and the log's trying, the tree's trying to grow back around that area and heal itself. But down here where the bark is all stripped off, we do have some fun undulation here in the grain. So some figure in there, which is nice. This log is kind of long. I think it's, it's gotta be like 25 feet long or something. So it'll be, I'll try and get out of here in two pieces and see how that goes. The approach is kind of interesting. Normally I would try and pick one of these things up from the, the big end, but we can't come in here through this garden and grab it. So I have to grab it from the small end. And I'm not really at the right angle right now, but that's okay. I think I should be able to swing it around and get it up there. So I'm going to take you along as we try and get this thing up on this trailer and get it out of here. Pull it up and then cut it once it's up. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's going to be easier to, there's not much room here. Yeah. So just try and get the whole thing lined up better. Right. So I'm going to try and swing it in here and I'll probably have to move in the trailer back a bit. Right. So we're more in line with it. And if I get a straight shot with it, I'll bring the whole thing up here mm -hmm. and then just cut it roll one side and roll it out of the way and then pull the rest of it up. Yep. Well, well, but you know what? We're winging it. We, we are. We are always, always winging it. She's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, it chained a little too high, but at least it's pretty heavy, so it shouldn't crash too hard. There we go. Touchdown. Let's see if it's too much. Yep. Well, now we get to have some fun. I got chained too tight, so now I cannot chain it. That's okay. They have fixes for that. <laughs> I got it good this time. Oh, is that holding it too? Oh, good. I'm just helping. Uh huh. I told you, I'm here to help. Something, something, dream work. <laughs>
All right, so because I have this weird approach angle on here, I didn't quite get it turned fast enough. Now it's, you know, in the way of the arch coming back up. So I'm using this jack to kind of push and roll that way so I can sneak this arm by. Once I get the arch folded back down, I can pick from here. And since I'm picking from here, it'll t allow this whole thing just to swing right on over. <sighs> I'm out of breath and that's shape. Get my sweat on today. You can see the arch is starting to come back now. The further back I can get it, the more lift I can get on the log. And that's all the lift I have on this jack now. Part of the jack is way the heck down the lawn, but <laughs> at least it's over a little bit. It's like leaking. All that water. It's juicy. <laughs> Who's thirsty? Got some tree juice? That is a juicy log. I think there's a little water in there. Got some water weight. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think this is going on here. It's like water pouring out of here onto the trailer. I'm hung up again. This thing's gonna fight me the whole way. Yeah, it's looking bigger now <laughs> than it was before. <laughs> so all these limbs and nubs and things, they kind of go in the wrong direction, which is why I normally load from this end. Ideally, if you can load from the butt end, they just kind of find their own way on. And you're not fighting all these nubs the whole way. Like I have been. Yeah, this one that's like up against the upright of the arch now. I'm not gonna have enough lift to actually get it. Plus these are kind of, it's kind of loose still. I'm trying to lift this end up so it's like floating and then it'll just swing on in. Eh, sometimes the theories work. That's a lot longer than I thought it was. <laughs> let's let's reevaluate. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cut this. That's ten feet. So that's more like we're where it makes sense. It's, it's also kind of hard because this log is in kind of weird shape. So I don't know if it's going to matter like visually where I cut it. I think I might cut it back here somewhere. And then we'll have this 10 foot ish, 11 foot log. And I should be able to fit that one next to it. All right, let me try and get some more up there on the trailer and then come back through and cut it, I think. I think I'm gonna pull it up some more since this one, this one's already kind of over there and then it should be out of the way completely, at least in theory. Let's see how that works.
Well, I'm getting set up to chop that log in two. Let me tell you about this video sponsor, Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that's changing the meal kit subscription game with options for every lifestyle, including keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten free. With Green Chef, you can expect an elevated fare of consistent top notch quality featuring premium ingredients and sustainably sourced produce. Green Chef's always changing variety of easy to follow recipes means there's something new to discover each week so you never get bored. And Green Chef now offers more variety and flexibility than ever before with double the choices. You can choose from 24 recipes weekly with the option to mix and match meals from different preferences. One of the meals we received was the Southwest Fajita Cheeseburgers. And not only were these just absolutely delicious, it was also a really fun recipe to prepare. Getting dinner ready for our family of five is usually a pretty stressful endeavor. So we really appreciated being able to just relax and enjoy each other's company as we prepare dinner together. You can use my code CREMONA135 to get $135 off over six boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Thanks Green Chef for sponsoring this video. I've never seen water just pour. There's a lot of water in here. Is there a big void in it? I think there is, yeah. There's like a pond in it. All right, I'm gonna shift over so we can get this more over there. All right, my next dumb mistake is I didn't drop this on a chain on this end. <laughs> You know, simple things like that. I didn't bring my giant can hook either. Oof. Is there a knot right there? Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. That's why. <laughs> didn't bring my log tongs. This would have been no problem. Just tong it, chain it, be done. The other thing I could do in the situation if it wasn't on someone's lawn is dig a little trench, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. We're not doing that trick today. I know you're a one man show, but I got it. Oh, boy. Oh, what is there? Good. Okay. Now the best part about this is when we get back, 
This will come off with a telehandler in like three seconds. See how this goes. built-in ladder. A little like burr on here because somebody got a little too aggressive with this at some point. Let's see how strong his gusset is. that nubbin. A little, uh, little haircut. You know, I don't usually trim logs, but I'm feeling kind of crazy today. I don't know. It's got a bad angle on it right now, so I'm gonna try and pick up this end so it follows this line. There we go. Holy crap. Just sneak it in now. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's gotta fold this arch down because I'm sure it's stuck on this log. Yep. Ready for the boom? Boom! There you go. Here's your boom. So we are back, no uh, no problems at all. I uh, I had a blast, this was a lot of fun. I really miss uh, these log recoveries because one of the things I enjoy so much about them is this like creative problem solving process you have to go through as you're trying to get these things onto the, uh, the trailer and just a lot of fun. I come up with like fun, unique solutions to make heavy things do what you wanna do. Do my bidding, heavy thing. <laughs> So now we can all share in a collective chuckle as we see how quickly these things come off the trailer. <laughs> I'm going to get my arch uh, off of here as well.
This thing has to be full of water. <laughs> I roll it over and it starts leaking. It is uh, definitely, definitely waterlogged. Look at all that water. And it's down here too. So I think this log is gonna be pretty interesting once we get on the saw because uh, from a traditional standpoint, this is 100% no arguments, a junk log. <laughs> it's, with all of these uh, these defects in here, you got so many structural defects and anomalies and weird stuff going on with uh, the uh, the tree healing itself after that lightning strike. This uh, this would be a complete 100% garbage log from a traditional standpoint, which is fine and all. But I'm not quite a traditionalist, <laughs> at least in that sense. So when we open this thing up, we'll be able to see how this tree really fared with getting uh, like boiled and having a sap would explode, <laughs> creating this giant fissure down the side of it. I think... This one also answers a question I get a lot of, like, why are these trees being removed? This one was, like, 100%, no questions asked. A hazard tree. It was only a matter of time until this fell on their house. Or somebody. So, it's removal, you know, makes sense in that sense. But, yeah, this is... <laughs> this is not your premium quality, super-duper, high-end veneer walnut saw log. Like... It is the complete opposite of that. So getting out and getting back to doing some of the things that I love and it's an absolutely fantastic day just to go out and have a little bit of a challenge and get some exercise and realize just how out of shape I am. <laughs> Big thank you again to Nick and Aaron for hanging out with me and running the cameras, that was probably, well, I, already, I know that is the most video coverage on a pickup that I have ever had. And it's always nice to not have to worry about a camera and just keep on working. So big thank you to them. So that is, uh, that's gonna do it for this one, this video, until we get this thing sawn sometime in the future. But uh, thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If any questions or comments on urban logging, the sawmill or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking and painting happy trees. Paint your trees so they're happy.